get up and clean it. Oh no, it's dead. Oh, what a bummer. I think she was just kind of, uh, it was a little hard on her. And um, when I come out at nine, it was, it had just been born. It was still warm, but it was, it was dead. are out it's clear it's quiet and it's gonna be warmer today it's early morning check up on the lambs let's go see what we got morning Skyler. good morning ladies do you have any new babies Sleeping with your foot up over your head, huh? Does that keep you warm? Where's the twins? And the other single is underneath the feed trough, but it doesn't look like we got any new ones. Oh, we got a baby. Oh no. We gotta get up and clean it. Oh no. It's dead. Oh no. What is this? You gotta get up and clean your baby. You can't live that way. Oh no. I was just out here this morning and earlier and checked on and nobody seemed to be real close to labor. And this is three hours later. This thing's just been born, but it was born breech. That's a big lamb. Oh, what a bummer. What a bummer. Oh, man. That's a big lamb. That's the only one she's going to have that was born backwards. Oh, what a bummer. There's just no way I can come check every two hours on these things. Oh man. It's dead. It's Fridays already, and just a <clears throat> bit of a recap on what I did get done this week. Got one major, major thing knocked off the list, and that was both, both of these stalls cleaned out. There was a lot of compost in here. And even this walkway here was just uh, littered. This stall had not been cleaned out. Actually, both of these had not been cleaned out in a whole year. So there was there was a lot of build up there. Hey, Lightning. Um, we haven't had any new lambs this week. I don't think. Maybe it was, I'll have to go back and see, but I think maybe it was Monday Monday morning that we had a we had a dead lamb born. It was born breech, um, and those you really have to catch them. Really have to catch them in in the uh, in labor in order to really help them. Um, it seems like, on in some cases, I guess. Um, what happened is I came out six o'clock in the morning, and I didn't see any activity. Um, I didn't see any any of them actually in labor or 
you know, any real signs of it. And I come back out at nine o'clock um, and she was laying right here. She had her baby and I could see it was, it was, it was born backwards and apparently she had just kind of taken her time, which the, the breech birth can be pretty complicated and kind of rough on them. So I think she was just kind of, uh, it was a little hard on her. And, um, but when I come out at nine, it was, it had just been born. It was still warm, but it was, it was dead. Um, the head, its head was wrapped in the sack. So that was sad. That was baby number five. We got four healthy ones so far. Um, and then we haven't had any new ones since. So we still have, we still have seven ewes left to go. Um, we ended up taking the ewe that uh, had the dead lamb to um, my cousin's place. He, he has a couple ewes and he had an ewe that had mastitis and triplets. So he was able to use some milk there. So one good thing out of, out of that entire situation. And we got this whole yard cleaned off finally. Um, and we ended up with this ginormous compost pile. That should probably last us for a couple years in the gardening and the raised beds and stuff. But it makes this a whole lot nicer. There was actually a lot more here than I expected. Um, it just kind of built up and I didn't realize how much was actually underneath there. on that calf just make sure it's okay it's probably just sunning hey there are you all right got a couple of them just conked out you guys okay all right i think you are <laughs> that can be a little scary you walk out and it looks like they're dead but with a nice day like it is in sunshine they, they like to stretch out and and do some uh, soak up some sun but i like the clean lot got a nice compost pile and everybody inside the barn is nice and clean really happy about that so some of these videos i i kind of do for my own records and just for my own kind of like a like a daily um weekly journal a quick recap for um what i got done this past week was monday i delivered a load of hay um i have some extra hay in the barn and so i've sold a couple loads um took one delivered it monday to a horse farm locally tuesday early tuesday morning i went down got a couple attachments i got that grapple uh, manure grapple and a bucket because my skidster didn't come with a bucket um, I really like that grapple I I was skeptical about spending that much money on on an attachment it was almost three thousand dollars actually it was a little over three thousand um, dollars but now that I have it I think I'll probably use it a lot more than I thought I would um, it worked out really really well for cleaning off this yard it uh, functioned a lot better than than I expected it to. So I'm really happy with that one. Yesterday, Thursday, I went and got some sawdust, spent some time in the office. So now I gotta go get another load of sawdust. And this is Friday afternoon, get that load of sawdust. <clears throat> and while I'm there, I'm gonna see if he can make me some uh, lumber for my portable uh, chicken coop uh, that I want to build on that wagon gear that I got a few weeks ago. 
So yeah, that's kind of a wrap up on my week. I, it seems like the week went really fast for me, but that's a good thing. And <clears throat> with the promise of warmer weather, I'm getting really excited to start working outside more. That's pretty much a wrap for this week. Kind of a brief, in a nutshell, what I did get done this week um, around the farm here. And I'm really excited for the upcoming weeks <clears throat> with weather changing and with weather changing, we're gonna be progressing a lot on some more raised beds, getting the veggies started early this year and really looking forward to being able to spend the majority of my time managing the farm and the gardens. So I'm very excited about that. I do want to say a special thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, we've gotten a lot of new subscribers in the last month and, and in the last few weeks they've been coming in a lot faster than originally, which is awesome. Um, <clears throat> I'm so thankful for each one of you uh, taking the time to, to watch the videos and commenting. And um, I really enjoy hearing from you guys in the comments. Um, and I'm super, super thankful for each one of you subscribers. Eventually, that's gonna make a big difference for us here on the farm if we can get to the point where YouTube starts paying us for making the videos. Um, and hopefully along the way, uh, we can actually add some value to the viewers. And maybe we can even learn some new things from you guys' comments, so. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. And, and we'll see you next time.